Okay, I have been doing some uh, experimenting already um, because we are upping the ante for today's build. Um, we're building a restaurant using blues and yellows as like our color and also um, using dark oak. I realized last night as I was thinking through this that I haven't used sandstone yet, so I think we'll be using that as um, some of our structural stuff as well. But it's going to be big because if you haven't noticed, my builds have been getting larger and larger. I'm finding that, you know, it's easier to make them look good, have cool details if they're larger. So we're going to have quite a bit of, quite a bit of building today. Um, our palette today, we're using um, lapis blocks, light blue concrete, warped wood, prismarine, Various oh that copper aged um that's supposed to be the uh like the, the the level right under this here let me replace it weathered copper is what it's called the fully like aged and weathered coppers there uh yellow terracotta yellow concrete and then of course the dark oak um these are probably also going to be light blocks that we'll be using you can see that I've kind of experimented with like terracotta patterns and stuff like that as well as wall patterns. took almost five hours it's fine it's fine the longest I've done has been just over two it, it, it it's 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 all right I'm exhausted my gosh but the amount of like new building technique and just like the improvement of this one is kind of amazing like even looking at the greenhouse from yesterday like Look at the roof. The roof is not just, you know, going one direction with a little bit of, like, shape in the the framing. Though we do have some pretty cool shaping in the framing. 
but it also like there there are corners in the roof there's that l shape there's that extra um there, there's that second layer so with this build we've added a lot of extra shapes to like the floor plan of the build um like several different protruding curved areas um the the rectangle part is has an extra rectangle coming off making it more of an l shape we've added framing details like these walls with this like keyhole design and just generally added lots of framing which is adding depth to the structure and also gives it like an illusion of structural integrity i suppose the interior might not be the most finished of all of my interiors or the most detailed but it's still got lots of good little things going on i'm actually really in love with these uh glass and end rod chandeliers and there are two extra levels um this goes out to the balcony out here and up one more staircase we have just a little tiny spot in the top which also has a balcony that is out back i intend for these to be like the kitchen area but i am exhausted and don't want to deal with it at this point so um they exist like this for now we'll see if i add details to it later i think i improved a lot in this build i worked out a lot of like the big details that make a build look awesome and it's huge um there there were a lot of details to work out um so it was quite a learning curve let's put it that way <laughs> i hope you've enjoyed learning along with me today and i will see you tomorrow bye <laughs>